It's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting bringing to episode two of Flip Flappers. It is still weird, even till today, because like I think um, around the time when I did the video of all the shows that I've watched from when I started in 2016 to now, and immediately thinking this show came out the year I fucking graduated high school, and knowing that this was <laughs> this actually came out when I started doing anime reactions. It's so weird and surreal and everything. Like, I mean, I remember when I was watching both Magical Girl and Keijo, uh, Magical Girl, Rise and Patrick and Keijo, I was hearing stuff about this show, but I, um, I think at the time, because I was like, I don't want to do it tonight, da -da -da, whatever. And now look at me. I watched like in a week. I don't know how many shows I watch in a freaking week and one full week to the point where I can't even, um, almost sometimes, even sometimes, not all the time, go out. Like, um, I'm about to see my dad this weekend and I can't go on Friday because I have six like animes, but I love that still, I love doing this because it's one of my favorite pastimes and fun things to do and connect with people, but then also to get my thoughts out there to you guys and to other people who like certain things and then at the same time I still get to have free time with friends and family and then meeting new people you know but other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode two and three two one go did I press play yeah we did Her glasses are fixed. What the hell is going on, Grandma? Where's Papika? Huh? No, Kokani, you know this is wrong. Where's my... Mother effort. The one time I don't really have a freaking. Huh? <gasps> there she is. Okay. What the heck happened? The one time my freaking. It's over there. That's why. Oh my god. You know how when you want to clean your nails and you're looking for the pick <laughs> to clean your nails and it's over there? Well, I can use other things. It's fine. But still, it just... Uh, if I had a pencil. But my pencils and everything are all over there. Freaking out, but... <laughs> You know, if they would like, if I went to an anime club. Like a regular club club, not not like club where you're sitting around, club where you're dancing and drinking. I feel like this song will be played and there would always be that one inning you just be like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but like, no, just tone your eyes down. Like, stop. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, do that. Puppy car. Huh? 
Huh. What happened to you? They only knocked her out. What did they do to you? Not right now, because the last time you almost got killed. You have to go with her. Yeah, so you can't be Miss Little pissed off. Oh, go on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Papika, you may want to change into a gold girl uniform. Ah, oh, funny. She looks like fucking chocolate. <laughs> yeah, but you're not in a, uh, okay. She's like fucking what's her face from Persona 5R. <laughs> but yes, I can eat all of this food. Oh my god. No. <laughs> I'm going to follow you anyway. I told you. Oh. I don't know why, but Yayaka seems like a gutter. She could be.
but she's not like typical Gadu. She's not like she's a little bit like um Micah from Cinderella Girls, but not like the girls from Dorara or um the one chick from Asabi Asabasa. <laughs> Pretty. It looks like what's her face. So we, we go in the lesbianist thing. We not gonna talk about puppy because eyes go. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, well, you're going to have to go down there. Wait, no, Kokona. Huh? So we in Wonderland, the anime version of Wonderland. Uh -huh. What the heck happened to you? Yeah, you both look like an Akko. So then he's gotta be closed. Later! Pet first! What the hell is that?
No. Uh, uh. You know, Bujan could have just gave Papika a lift, but maybe Papika heavy. <laughs> Don't bite it. No, 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 no. It's a bunny man. Um, um, um. The one time that I wish Poppy Cook could just turn into a magical girl and just oh my god. Save her Is that a bottle? The bunny guy, right? No, you gotta be fucking kidding me. No. Are you serious? That cute little bunny. Think about Chicky. Is now a bunny man. No, oh, you're gonna die. <laughs> I mean, you know, Poppy could have just gone back outside, found out where the switch was, because she was near it, and turned the power off, and everything would have been fine. Blood. Honestly, this show got me tripping balls, uh, because I'm like, um... Am I on something? But no, it, it's the show. It's just good. The adrenaline of it. Oh, well, finally she's going to turn into one. Thank God. And she's going to say, Best girl! Best girl is going to say, Best girl. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There we go. Your hair is blue. And your eyes are purple. What, hold on, why do we need to hang on to the robots, man?
<laughs> yeah, but honestly, Papika, I think she's going to take it back. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, she's going to go with you. <laughs> go away. No. Of course, yeah, I fell asleep. Are we going to her apartment? So flip flop. What the fuck? Mr. Giraffe from Ruby Starlight. Honestly, with this, with him, because he's in, as of right now, he's in three different shows that I fucking watch now, besides Ruby. Um, he's the bad guy in Fire Force. He's the good guy, or really kind of really bad guy in fucking, um, The Ones Within. And I don't know about this. He seems like a bad guy. He could be like freaking Professor Love from uh, Fate Grand Order, maybe. It's okay. What is pure illusion, though? Oh. That's it? Fuck you. Fuck you. No! My god, why would you do that? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Who ends the show like that with one minute? Here's Coconut. Next minute. God. I mean, it's really good, but, like, honestly, I cannot trust Dr. Salt. I mean, you know, we need Dr. Pepper as well, as I made that joke last week. But, I mean, it's the same guy who was in both Fire Force, um, this Rebby Starlight and The Ones Within. And he plays, like, the most interesting characters. And so he's played a little bit of good guys, a little bit of bad guys, and then kind of good also bad at the same time. I didn't trust him as the freaking giraffe, and I think with this, I don't even trust him as well. I felt like there's more to the story about him, so maybe there will be an episode that'll focus on his backstory, because he seems very interesting, and he possibly has a fucking secret. You never know. Everybody in this group has something. But having <laughs> Paprika come to school <laughs> dressed as a trans her student, even though she wasn't in the uniform, she freaking looked like a little bit of um, Chocola from Sugar Sugar Room and kind of um, Chibisa, okay, a small lady from Sailor Moon. But I, I don't know. I, I love how she just like, yeah, let me try to blend in. But like, no, honey. It, is this supposed to be that one movie that came out a couple of years ago? That sure is. Oh my god, what's the name of that damn movie? Zoe Kravitz was in it. It's the movie 
the Charlie, uh, Charlie's Theron was in, uh, Tom, Tom, what's his face? My husband is in that movie. Um, fucking, oh my god, I, I fucking know it. I know it, but I just can't remember. It's the, it's like the Drag Race movie, but they're in the fucking desert. I, it, uh, whatever that movie is called, that's the movie that that kind of really reminds me of. And I think, maybe, I don't know, it looks like it takes, a, like, a tiny little piece of it. I don't know. But, I mean, they're, he... They're creating, they're not creating, collecting these fragments to make this pure illusion thing. It is that so they can transform into these magical girls or something? Because when they have it, you know, they they technically transform. They ain't got no magical girl off and on. They, you know, their hair is different. It's more longer and the color has changed. Their eyes has changed and they have powers. So... Uh, but at the same time, it's like, you're leaving me with so many unanswered questions that I don't know what the fuck is going on, but that's okay, I love it. It's just at the same time, it's like, I, I want certain questions answered, like, right now. And, of course, I know some of you aren't going to give it to me, figures, because typically we're like, no, Deja, no. You say you don't like spoilers, you don't want to know anything, so you gotta wait. It, see, between this and freaking Penguin Drum, especially fucking Penguin Drum. Don't get me started on that damn show. So many freaking things. But, like, with this, I, I mean, it is so good. I really love both of these girls. And there is kind of a, um, a ship between them. You can see that they develop very well together. But then I'm kind of wondering about the girl who, uh, Coconut was talking to about the painting. Then, um... Maybe if Yayaka possibly has feelings for uh, Coconut, because, I mean, you can still be friends with someone and still relatively have feelings for them, even though if she possibly hasn't said anything to Coconut till this day, she's possibly hiding it inside. I mean, I just finished Yuri Kuma last week, and that was a mind fuck of its own. So what I'm hoping is, but this show doesn't, it, it doesn't give me a lot of mind fuckery moments, but... I don't want to get to the end of the series and be like, I don't understand what the fuck I just watched. Because with Yuri Kuma, I didn't understand shit. I understood most of that stuff. But having to do a lot of research after that show um, kind of made me dislike it. Not a lot, but just a little bit. So what I'm hoping is that it does explain. I don't want it to like, um, and how can I describe this? I'm not, okay. Not spoon feed. I don't want it to hold my hand all the way through the damn series. I want it to be parts where, yes, it is holding my hand. It says, okay, here's the answer to this, 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 this. But then at the same time, it's like, oh, maybe she needs to kind of figure those answers on her own. Just like that. Because sometimes I don't like it when a series or how I've done with some of my friends, if they needed answers or questions or certain things, how I'm like, yeah, let me hold your hand all the way to the finish. Like, you, you don't figure it out yourself. I give you everything. So, uh, uh, like, kind of give me a little bit of, let me figure it out on my own, and then kind of give me any answers if I don't get it right then and there. But it was a damn good episode. I'm still freaking out about, you know, her pet. That shit was weird. But that was cute. I, I mean, okay. <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode two of Flip Floppers. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the National Squad. And, of course, I will see um, you guys on Saturday for the Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for episode three. Bye, guys.